You're taking, I say, oh my God, it's very nice. So what you don't know is the jealousness comes in. So this ladies now, they start whispering to you, oh, no. it's not your time. No, 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 let him go. No, 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 no. But because now you, you are in the same mindset with those people. You let a good guy go. Because why? The girl's thinking like, now if Zippy goes, or if Pastor Rob moves, how is who's, that? Who's gonna who's host us? Gonna host us? <laughs> <laughs> Our party guy has hey, said, oh, how? Who's going to host us? It's what they'll benefit from you. They care about. They care about. Mm. So that's wow. one thing you need to remember that. Mm -hmm. Yes. So what, what is beneficial to them? That's that's, that's what they so care you about. It's a journey with mm -hmm. new people, new friends. New friends. Okay, some mm. of them are, are still have some of um, which are ready friends. to to ac to accept who you are now. And they're ready to actually they actually even love my my change. Yes. yes? Yeah. And which I appreciate. Mm. Yeah, because now the movements I used to have, mm. or whatever it is I used mm. to have now, and after I'm married, yeah. I'm not only married, mm. married to a pastor. A pastor. That's a very big... <laughs> Can you imagine? And that's what I always say, overtaking is allowed in kingdom of God. It is allowed. From a party girl to a pastor's wife. To a pastor's wife. wife. So some people, one thing I come to realize, some people, even mm. though that grace is over you, mm. like it's always upon you, yeah. and you're married to uh -huh. the pastor, but the still people see you still, the old Yes. 
It takes time. It takes time. It takes time. It takes time. There was still, t- but what you need to, to know is I am not there anymore. Then you are not there. Time will, will, will prove to them. Time no. will prove to them. So yeah. if you want to continue, it's okay. It's okay, yeah. Your friends will still continue mm. judging me or you mm. think whatever I'm doing, maybe I'm making noise or whatever yeah. I'm doing. Mm. It's okay. Yeah. It's okay. And it's, that's it. Yeah, but it's fine. It's Accept it. Just, yeah. it's fine. You know, it's, yeah. it's, they're human beings. Mm. They're, they're allowed to do mm. that. That's their nature. So, so now you're going to fight yeah. in your marriage. In your marriage. Yeah, because now this... Mustenda alikuwa nakalia sina tabu and this is a, man, a, a, a guy from the church yes. he was actually preaching he used yes. to preach yes. even back home yes. he to, yes. I, I visited their church back oh, home yes. he used to preach yes. and he didn't match no. he didn't match to the eyes of, <laughs> the eyes of people to the eyes of people like yeah. no 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 kuna mtu anatudanganya hapa either mugo goes to the pub something is wrong here to the eyes of men yes so now you started the journey did you how did your dad accept him how was it because so what happened is Mm-hmm. Mungo. Yeah, Pastor Mungo. <laughs> Pastor Mungo. Yeah. So what happened is mm. we started. Mm. So he was like his agenda was very good mm. because he was like listen I am not willing to play about. Mm. I really want to settle down. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm looking for for girl and you mm. and one after even if after giving him hard time mm. for, for about 3 years. Mm. Okay, look for me for about 3 years. Wow. Listen girls out there. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> if it's for you it's for you uh-huh. you will come. Mm. So he looked for me for about 3 years. Mm. Me and play just you know hide and seek hide and seek. But the time of the day I accepted him. He came and told me listen. I want to go and s- and see your people. Now introduce mm-hmm. like let me get to know your yeah. people. Yeah. You know what happened? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I went to my my, my dad. Mm-hmm. I said, Dad, mm-hmm. I have somebody, mm-hmm. but he just want to come and say hello to you. Uh-huh. Guy. Uh-huh. <laughs> it's like heaven opened for my dad. Uh-huh. It's like, hey, uh-huh. phone calls. Uh-huh. <laughs> my uh-huh. dad got so excited. He was yeah. so happy. Wow. Because my dad really wanted the best yes. for us, best yeah. for me. And you're the first one. And I'm the first one. You know. So, to look at my check and I got some young with us. I'm like, hey, I'm okay. He's like, I'm okay. My uncle, I'm a good. So they're excited to see who is this, who is this person, and what is this agenda? Yeah. I'm a good one, okay, Nina. So, someone came for the first time. So, by the time he came the first time, I look at that. Boom. Go on, hey. Go on, hey. My auntie, my uncle, I'm a good one. It's like, Oh, so you saw one? Okay, yeah. blah, blah, okay, nice to meet you, blah, mm-hmm. things like that. Mm-hmm. Okay, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then from there, that's what they did. Yeah, and then you started our marriage, you started your marriage. Your marriage uh-huh. and plans and journey. And you had a fight, and that's what I really want, I want to just go to the point. I want to talk about the battles, because there's a woman there, she's mm-hmm. going through a battle, and she's thinking, I can't take it, I'm giving up. Mm-hmm. You know, and I want to talk to a woman who feel like, uh, me past yake and fanya I call it tied. Mm. Like she's can't move because people are saying this, people are saying that. Now she's not going to continue with that marriage. There's so many women who have given up on the right men just because of what people are saying. saying. Mm. Don't yeah. Don't be trapped in that uh, yeah. in that little mm-hmm. thing. Mm-hmm. Like I said, at the end of the day, you have to make a decision. Mm. What is it? How do I want to live in my life? Yeah. Are you dwelling on still people? Mm. The same people they're talking about you, mm. Pastor Rahab. It's mm. the same people that go in the houses. Mm. They will sleep in their beds mm. and very comfortably. Mm. You would have left you in a very stressful position. Yeah. Yeah, wow. you're very stressed out. So your, your journey to the marriage was not smooth. It was not smooth at all. Mm. Because now you have to remember now I'm fighting about this. This is now, it was it was a spiritual, not only oh, yeah. physical. Because was... now you, you've made a deal with God. God. Fight that, yeah. a deal with God. Yes. So now God has brought me mm-hmm. the, man you're the, man, in. the man I wanted. Mm-hmm. But now the Lord is like, it's not going to be easy. Uh-huh. Now, now the demons woke up. Now the demons woke like, up. We're not letting go of you, Zippy. Hang on a minute. Because the devil now knew. Mm. Now Zippy, the powerful Zippy that used uh-huh. to be now. Yes. She's going back now. How mm-hmm. is that possible? Mm-hmm. No, we wanted that And to let be. me tell you one thing. I had a, an interview with someone. I said the same thing. Mm. You know when you are a leader, mm-hmm. you will lead even in the kingdom of God. Because you used to lead girls. Oh, you used to lead. So, so people mm-hmm. say, if you're a leader, if you're born with leadership in you, yes. you find that wherever you go, you have that influence. Yes. No matter what. So you yes. still have that influence there. Yes. So the enemy has Kubali, you are leading these people where I want them to go to hell. 
now you're going the other side i'm sure they'll follow you and i can justify their following because um, there's one day i remember there was a, uh-huh. a, a, a the church now the building the church i used to go to mm. and then they used to have um, preachers come in so yeah. this this one white lady one pastor from the home my name very well mm. so, used to put us in groups. Mm. so you would tell her what your name is mm. and she would try and um according to god's how god will um help her mm. try and prophesy and, and talk to, you know talk good things to you mm-hmm. So she comes and tells me, Zipporah, I say, yeah. Do you know you hold a, your, you, like your, the crown that is on top of you mm. is shining so wow. bright mm. and people just want to be around you. Mm-hmm. And I was like, Kwani, who are you? How <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, did you know this? Mm. Yeah, because it's true. Because where I was, people mm. want to be around, around you. Around you, yeah. Which is true. You have that, you that have move. a good heart that, and yeah, that magnet. Yeah. So, so that magnet, mm. no need magnet. Come. <laughs> Yeah, and I remember as well, you know, like, I, I, even me, I used to tell you, people, do you know how many people will be oh, born, again? born again? Because, you know, you have that influence. Yes. And that's what makes you a leader. You know, once you have that leadership in you, yes. everybody wants to, wants follow. to follow you. Yes. Yeah. So, now, now uh, you, you transformed, you are born again, your dad is excited because... Now your dad already knew who you were here. Yes. Already you can tell. Yes. Now you transform. He's excited. Like my story. Your his story has changed. Every every man, every you every know, dad, parent, every, every parent, parent wants yeah, to see, want to see that. walking there. You know, and you wore a white dress. Yeah. You did in the church. In the church. You did not just. You know, to be honest, like maybe in the eyes of men, we're expecting just to hear. Zibia Leolewa, like, just, hey, she's not married. Ama lipata mtu wa hii, ama lifanya nini, ama maybe she's still doing the same, yeah. same things. Like, but this guy yeah. took you to church. He took me to the, yeah. Took and when you want church. to see a man oh, is serious, yeah. they'll always, they'll always say they want oh, to see oh, your parents. Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. When, I, I'll repeat that, when, uh, when a guy is serious, mm-hmm. they'll always want to go and see your parents. Your parents. But every time you tell them, they, they, they're, you know, just know it's the wrong person. And that's why it's good to always ask. Mm. You know, if, if always ask a man, if you if you really feel that this man you want to go somewhere with mm. this man, it's always good to ask. Mm. Ask what's the agenda. Yeah. What's the future plans? Mm. Because again, you don't want to waste time. Mm-hmm. So ask what what do you want? What where do you want us to be in the mm. next five mm. years or whatever? So you get to know, you get to understand. Mm. You get to understand mm-hmm. this person. Yeah. Yeah. So what, what, now Pastor Mugo was told all the negative part of it. Did you ever and I know get... some of them there has never told me, I know. <laughs> <laughs> so he doesn't want to hurt you. He maybe you. doesn't want to hurt me. That's okay, yes. that's fine. But that's fine. Yeah, yeah. because he's protecting you. Yeah. But did you ever get any negative things about him? I did. You did? I did. As holy as he was. Oh yeah, as holy as he was. <laughs> now, now, you're going to marry Zipporah. Yeah. Uh, now, yeah, this is Zipporah, and, uh, whatever it is now. Mm. Is a womanizer mm. all of a sudden. All of a sudden, the <laughs> <laughs> yeah. now, how now I mean because it? he did not accept what they they had to try you. Now. Yes, mm-hmm. now they have to try me. He's a womanizer. Yeah, he likes he likes women. Mm. Yes, he would disappoint you because of the messages they used to send me. They used to tell me, "Don't mm. worry, mm. he's going to disappoint you." Mm. Yeah, I'm just trying to help you. Try and try help me as who? Mm. <gasps> why did you not help me when I was yes. in the club? In the club. And tell so, me, yeah. yeah. So uh-huh. why are you helping me now when I'm I'm, I'm trying to plan my own mm-hmm. my own wedding? So people did come out with with it a lot of fight. It was, it was a, was a fight. fight. Yes, I can tell it was a fight because I was mm-hmm. your maid of honor. <laughs> yeah, she was my maid of honor. <laughs> yeah, so I can tell there was yeah. a very. But I knew. Uh-huh. I remember when you called me and say you're going you're going to get married. Mm-hmm. I cried. Yeah. I literally cried because I knew this is a change. Yeah. I said God, has, you know, sometimes people want to see you. Uh, pick up my go to more oh, and don't draw my change. No. God can just shift things, and That's I it. knew this is it. This is it. Mm-hmm. You're going to change, and things are going to yes. Move. And now you're influencing so many people. Your sisters, yes, the Baptist church, yes, your friends. Some of them are following to yes. church. Yes, even though they're following to church, is a process. You know, as long as they're making those baby steps. Oh yeah, it's good. Yeah, as long as I'm telling you, it's good to always make. A decision and a step and, mm-hmm. and start that just baby step those little steps mm-hmm. as just you going to church that's enough mm-hmm. wow yeah and that's always tell people it doesn't matter if you go to church with hangover just go just go is that you are it's better, better off. you're better off yeah, you're, you're better off go and hang but it's only as good as all those pastors accept them yes yeah those people the only come with hangovers mm. Let them come. <laughs> Can you educate? Maybe there's a pastor there and he's like, how do I deal with these people? You know, some people think when they get a drunkard in church, 
is a sin. But you see now, they killed my, they killed my. They made you go even deeper. <laughs> they even made me go even. They send me out there anymore. Mm. If this person comes to you, some people they just maybe want to want even you know going because of the pastor mm. or they're going there, just to be in the house of God. Yes. Yeah. Mm. You have to remember these people. Maybe the way I was say their background. Mm. Maybe it was. It was church. Yes. Yeah. yeah. They were brought up being in church, mm. but because of all these things, they're still out there. Mm. So maybe to them, me just going to church and sit down on the, in the in the church, even as much as I'm drunk, mm. is enough. Is enough. Yeah. But now here they come. Mm. They're chasing you. They're chasing you. So where do you want this person to go? But the the amazing thing is the mm. same pastor who's chase who chase others. Mm. When you hear the testimony, they say, "I was a drunkard." That's it. And you wonder, okay, you wonder what, what is what, what happens? is wrong? <laughs> what is it that's not happening? Yes. yes. So, and that's why the youth are running away from churches because they're saying the pastors don't understand and us. Yes, exactly. Yes. So, mm-hmm. even if he comes and sit down there, as long mm-hmm. as it's not causing you problems. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's even better for him to be there mm-hmm. because you don't know when you're preaching or when you're saying, you don't know what he's getting out of it. It's true. Yeah. yeah. You might come there stuck, stinking like alcohol, mm-hmm. but you don't know what he's picking up from it. Because most of these people actually, they're just looking for love. For love. And yes. Embrace. Embrace them. Mm-hmm. But if you come and then you you, you, you chase them away, mm-hmm. God is, say God is love. So mm-hmm. what love are you showing if mm-hmm. you're not, mm-hmm. you're not embracing them and yeah. you're chasing them mm-hmm. away? You're just giving them a chance to mm-hmm. go and do mm-hmm. and continue where they stopped. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. now here you got married, you're more than one year, or yeah. been ambassador. <laughs> yeah. Did you ever felt like I wanna go back and party? Well, his life is not a yeah. <laughs> we have because challenges. Want, yeah, the challenges. There is challenges. Yeah. Sometimes uh, especially if you've never been into a marriage, mm-hmm. it's it's not easy. Yeah. It's not a bed of roses. No people oh. think it's <laughs> I can tell, yeah, yeah. yeah. But if you do it with the right person, yes, it is good. Mm. Yeah. So the beginning, mm. the beginning of it, it was a bit challenging mm-hmm. yeah, because I think you're like, is this really what I wanted? Mm-hmm. As in, I got you now. What is it now? Yeah. You know, you you're just getting too much. Yeah. <laughs> do you understand? Mm. So people are still partying. People are still doing uh-huh. whatever. Now, is this is your new lifestyle? Yeah. Yeah. yeah? Mm-hmm. So you have to. Now you have to remember there's companies now you cut them. Mm. There's things now you can't do. Yeah. There's movements now you can't mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you can't it's not because you can't move, mm-hmm. but you're just trying to to have and respect your marriage. Your marriage mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And and respect everything that is going on. So it was a bit tricky. Tricky. Mm. But once you get there and you just decide, you know mm. you have to be strong. And that's always taught people. Mm. Even as pastor as you see mm. I am, I still get temptation. Yeah. It's not that I don't get temptations, mm-hmm. but I tell people you having the thought is not bad. It's not bad. But you doing it is bad. Yeah. So I want you, that's why I asked you, did you feel like that? So mm-hmm. a viewer who have stopped today, mm-hmm. Akiskia, hey, I want to go, mm-hmm. I do it. It's normal. It's normal. It's normal. It's normal. It's normal. We're human beings. It's yeah. normal. Mm-hmm. But you going and doing it, that's, then that's the, the problem. That's the problem. Yeah. But you feeling it, it's okay, but you have to fight and You have say, to fight no. it and yeah. you have to and ask God to help you. And mm-hmm. Sometimes it's good to speak to your man and mm. and um, try and um, sometimes what I do I engage myself in conversations. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> you know, man say these kind of things we're talking. Me and my man we're just talking. Mm. Eh? So easy. We're in shop. Sometimes when you go to the shops, mm. when you're looking at the bottle, say, "Hey, babe, you know how many never in the kulanga?" So you look at me like, "Say this name is it? Who knew it?" So those kind of things, you'll be free with somebody. Yes, you know what exactly. I mean? So once you start creating that freedom mm. with someone, you'll find out Tama in Aisha. Oh yeah. Yes, yeah. true. You know, so that's that's Tama. That mm. that thing goes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So now you start engaging yourself in different things. Yes. Now I engage myself now in more church. Yeah. So I become be busy mm. in, in things in of church. God. Mm. So that mindset mm. changed. It changed. Yeah. It's all about the mindset. It's all about who you share with. Who you talk to mm. so girls you know just look for the right friend and you know maybe if you go married to a drunkard you'll still be in the same position you will be definitely be in the same position yeah. because mm. but you know somehow people some people did because uh even back home when you go you, mm. just, you find out these women the men is the men the but you you can't compare our the, our mothers with us now no mm-hmm. our okay. mothers were same, our, you know we're in another generation, we're another generation. yes yeah. so now if I, me if i'll go married to a drunkard i'm sure today <laughs> come to to come to 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 because now he's empowered we're, we're he's encouraging. encouraging you yes. yeah he's encouraging you and, it's, and then the one thing is good for the person to know your your past yeah 
So if you're there, you're a lady, you want to get married, don't mm. go to the club to find women. And you see men, they're wise. They're when wise. they want to marry, they go to church. Definitely. <laughs> hey, uh -huh. as now I see, there's so many girls in your church. Mm -hmm. I'm looking for a wife. You see? I might come and visit. <laughs> They will <laughs> never marry the club. No, only the few. Very only few. few. Very only few. few. But again, when you see them, they still the lifestyle is still the same. There's no movement. There's no, there's movement. no glory. Yeah. There's nothing. So you know, just go in the presence of God. As you all we knew Zipora, I knew Zipora. Those who didn't know her, you heard her story, and that's how she ended up being a pastor's wife. From a party girl to a pastor's wife, and she's doing amazing things here in East London. They have a church where they are co-pastoring with their parents. Yes. Their parents are pastors yes. as well, you know. And God is doing wonders. God is mm -hmm. doing mighty mm -hmm. and great things. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure you'll be able to contact them. Maybe you have a child, you have a daughter. She's giving you problems. Contact mm -hmm. Zip. Mm -hmm. You know, she will speak to you. She will help you. Mm -hmm. You know, she will. She'll be able to work with your daughter as well. And I want to encourage a, 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 a mother. You know, Zipora came out. I came up, your child can come up. It's too. not it's not hard. Mm. Yeah, it's a season. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes that that's it happens. You have to understand and you have to understand this is life. I'm sure your parents were hurt, they were the, the, and some of them my parents if maybe one day I think I will ask them, but mm. I've never actually had that energy or yeah. that confidence to come my mom. Mm. Well, yeah, because I feel like uh, yes. you know, so I, I, I ignore it. Yeah. I don't want to, to, to know. know. Mm. Yeah. But I'm sure if she can tell me, mm. she, yeah. she can say quite a lot. A lot. Yeah, she can say quite a lot. Because remember, you are a doer, you are a girl, you mm. means a lot. Yeah. You are the firstborn. Mm. People are talking. Yeah. She's a pastor. She's a pastor. That's to make it worse. Pastors, yeah. kids, you know. Uh, yeah. We go through a lot. So, and, and children as well. Learn how to respect your your parents. Mm -hmm. You're the second gods in this in this mm -hmm. in this world. By the way, thank you for pointing yeah. out. Because there are girls and mm. who are getting drunk and then go and beat up their own mothers. They're, no, they're only beating, even cussing. Imagine, you know, saying mm. negative things. As still you are drunk, you still respected them. I still respect. You, that's why I moved out of that house. <laughs> Please talk to somebody so they can understand. You don't need to be abusive to your parents. You don't need to be abusive to your parents. Mm. As much as you're drunk, and as much as whatever you think mm. the alcohol is taking over, alcohol influence, mm. or oh, don't worry, I was drunk. Mm. No, 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 no. You cannot take back your words. Mm. Exactly. Even as much as you be drunk. You know what they say? They say a drunken person mm. says the truth. Mm. When they're drunk, they mm. say anything. Yeah. Mm. So you cannot take your words back. Mm. And these are your parents. It's okay, you can go and do it with your, whatever your friends in. Mm. But you're, when it comes to your parents, those are your second God mm. in this in this oh. world. Mm. So it's good to respect them. And, and they do speak to us. Mm -hmm. And you know those days, mm -hmm. they figure, so old they were still counseling you and talking to them. They yes, never gave up. they never gave up. Mm. But you're thinking like, oh, this is uh, old school. What do they mean? Uh, it's a new generation, ma'am. Mm. We don't do things like the way you guys used to do. Mm -hmm. But when you sit down now, you're thinking mm. like, I think they were making sense. They they knew life. They knew life. Yeah. Even though though they were, they were, the life was different, mm -hmm. but still they had that wisdom and that knowledge. Mm -hmm. So don't don't abuse your parents. Oh, yeah. Don't disrespect your parents. Mm. In fact, make them their friends. Yes. So in, it's better go and speak to your own parents mm -hmm. than even to go and speak to, to anybody, anybody out there. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Just go. It's go and cry to your mom or your dad. Mm -hmm. This is what I'm doing, mom. Mm -hmm. I can't. I can't seem to find. Mm -hmm. They won't check you out. Mm -hmm. they say, they I think where we were is mm. obviously we are better off, but the people who are drunk at now, mm. the new generation, is they're, bad. they're bad. Yeah, it's bad. It's bad. It's bad. They don't even have respect. They don't have respect for anybody. For even anybody. like on the street, if someone stopped you and talked to you, mm. you will listen. Mm. But then they will not listen. They'll they call you any kind of yeah, thing. They don't. Tomorrow, you know, try to. I don't know what kind of the bangies they're smoking now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 the alcohol they're drinking. Mm. But is. I don't something know. Else. It's something else. It's not the way we used to. We used to you when you mm. drink mm. whatever. In fact, us mm. used to hide. You don't mm. want your parents to see Even you. To know. Yes. Even mm. to smell the alcohol. Mm. Because my mom used to smell me alcohol. Mm. We used to smell. Mm -hmm. uh, mm. <laughs> I remember before I moved out. Mm. Like, yeah. mm. 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 Wow, guys, you see, <laughs> they all went through it. You are not alone. You're not but there alone. are women who are going through depression. How I lally because I'm talking about I'm levy. Mm. You know, God will still deliver them. Mm. We are praying for your children. If you want to get in touch, our details are down below. Mm. Uh, until next time, may just God bless you and keep on watching Real Talk Show. Maybe you can just give them any details you want. Maybe. <laughs>
where your church is, if they want to come to your church. Yeah, okay, uh, we're based in Barking. Mm -hmm. um, our church is Apostolic Evangelical Church. We're based in Barking. I uh, can't remember really the address properly. At Slane? At Slane, you know, at Slane mm -hmm. the heart of our Slane. Mm -hmm. But we'll put the, down the details and numbers. Yeah. So feel free. Yeah. Uh, by Zippy, Zippy Mugo. So you can get in contact with me, message me, message me. And okay. then you can chat. Wow, thank you. I'm sure the secret is safe with me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. 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 I, I can assure you that. Yeah. Yes, yes. So, so I'm sure young people will follow. Yeah. Women will follow. Yeah. They'll need your help. Yeah. But God bless you so much. Thank and you. keep locked in. God bless you. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs>